What's up, beautiful people? Undula Chibuzo here again, aka Alhaji Tijani, aka Yoruba boy with no people. For today's video, I'm co hosting with Chinari, aka Social Bob. Today promised to be fantastic. Welcome to Fidelity Week. Welcome, guys. <laughs> We're going to be talking on the topic fidelity relationship. Oh. Fidelity relationship. Okay. So we'll be starting off with Jed. <clears throat> so Jed, there's this funny story we heard about how you and your wife got started. Uh, oh. Do you want to tell us about it? Well, we actually met in the university. Okay. Yeah, cool. So she walked in with her bag literally the day she walked in. Mm -hmm. Spotted her and said, okay, maybe that's her. Mm -hmm. so that's yeah, how we started. Yeah. Then, you know, Come 10 on. years later, we're married. Nice. So I kind of heard like you guys were working together yeah. and then, you know, the whole relationship thing started going on. You know, uh, so how? Yeah, go at ahead. some point we were working in the same bank, you know, and you know how tough it is. So, but mm -hmm. somehow, somehow we made it work. Chris is here. Chris doesn't let us get married to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, but somehow we had to make it work. The okay. ring had to come before yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. So tell us how difficult was it for you to propose to her or leave the job, which of them? Which yeah, of them? I like to plan my life, okay. so I had to get everybody sorted on the job sites before we get the whole marriage thing going. So I had the ring in my pocket for months, waiting to get another job. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So let's get this nice. <laughs> You guys were dating, you had the ring, you said no, I won't pop the question nah. until I get a new job. Yeah. So what's oh, no, what if you didn't get a new job? <laughs> yeah, well. The ring for tape for your pockets. So. Yeah. <laughs> it, I've gotten rusted or you something. Come, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna ask Olinye something. Right. Olinye, um, you know the rule in the bank. Mm -hmm. If you're getting if you fall in love with someone in the bank and it gets to the point where you have to say I do, yeah. Either of you would have to leave the mm -hmm. bank. So um tell us what's your opinion on that? Hmm. My opinion about leaving my work, my job. Okay, it's. I think I'll go with Jed and please find another job. Make it easy for me. Oh, you want the man to leave? No, no, not necessarily. Yeah. Either, okay, we both plan it. Like, I you know, okay, we are both searching just in case I find earlier than the guy does, then I leave. But to go home and sit, uh, uh, man, I think that is the mm. most <laughs> tricky. Okay, How about you, Vic? <laughs> what are your thoughts? Like, if you find like a guy you really like in the back, yes or no? When he pops the question, like you guys should start dating and stuff. I think I would leave the bank for him. Oh, yes. So cute. I would prefer That's that. so sweet. She, no wonder, no wonder she's sitting next to me. <laughs> She knows the world. Has something to tell us. <laughs> well, um, mine is a bit interesting mm. around oh, the story because okay. I, I, I'm a lover of following the rules. If, you, if, if getting married is about getting a job, then I think there's something wrong. I'm, a, I'm also a victim. My wife used to work in Fidelity Bank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, both, we both worked in this organization together and she left her job for me. For six years, she had nothing doing. Oh, um, you but guess what? Wow. 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 Guess what? Wow. Guess what? She's a star. Guess what? <laughs> guess what? That is one thing that I love her and I will forever love her for. Mm. Knowing that even when it is down, she will always be there for me. Mm. What? Uh, okay. Guess it's what? A good it's it's fine. <laughs> I, also, I also respect your view of, yeah. okay, okay, you got to get the job before she moves. Mm. Hey. If it's marriage we're talking about, if it's about companionship, if it's someone you want to be with forever, then I don't think he has it, very little. And that's why I love you once again. <laughs> she, she, she said it. And for every girl, if you want to be honest with yeah. yourself, you know that the truth is, if it is this man I love, mm -hmm. job will come. Okay, Six I, years down the line, she's working today and even any more than she was anywhere. She was wow. Okay, wow. I, I was going to say that. Okay, mm. let's, on that thought, yeah? yeah. If you were earning higher, like you were in a higher grade and you were earning higher than Mr. Wright, do, would you still leave your job so that Mr. Wright can continue? Wow. <laughs> I need to come in that <laughs> way. Yeah, I need to come in that <laughs> way. So, yeah. the thing is, I would always say this. We would definitely need money. I think I don't think I would want to leave my job. Probably we would just hold You're on. You're changing, to... mm -hmm. no, 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 you don't come out. No, no, no. I'm going to move or leave the bank. I'm any more. He, 
if um I can I would definitely leave the bank, but if he Sorry. If you're going to grow, one. yes, wow. then yeah. I'll leave. If there are potential okay, for yeah. being yeah. something because better. Because things would I mean, come yeah, up and we we'll definitely yeah. need money. Okay. Mm -hmm. so and in fact, to my it. story, we were actually earning the same. We were both ABEs okay. oh. when she walked away. But if it's oh. like his own situation now, I would leave. Oh. Okay, quick question, okay. quick question. So apparently you guys started dating in the bank. Uh, how are you guys able to keep it professional? So she comes, she comes into your office out the blue, checks mm -hmm. out your screen to see what you're doing, gives you this undeserved pat on the back, mm -hmm. and then you run your hands down her curly hair. Your boss senses the emotions running yeah. deep, and then he adjusts his time and says, Chris, are they going to see your guy? How do you keep it professional? Okay, now, in, in my own story, we didn't have to work in the same bank. Oh. In fact, the real thing was that she was in Asaba branch, I was in Onicha. Oh, oh, makes sense. And in fact, the first day we met, we met on our way to a training, customer service training, same Fidelity Bank. And then I, I had to, I proposed the first day we met. What? Wow. On air. That's interesting. <laughs> but she turned me down. She said, excuse me. Oh, no, I don't like her. Please, you don't even <laughs> go there. I don't even know you. And they need to have heard about you, you're some Casanova, and I'm like, oh, well. Yeah. It's a reputation. <laughs> yeah, we, we and then, yeah, yeah, there was a reputation we had, we risk around. Had your friends back then. Twelve, actually. Oh, <laughs> Correct number. Lord. Okay, but, but, but that was that was youthful exuberance. I was being a guy, okay. you know, in an environment where, so many you know, watching. there were people, beautiful people. And I was young, for the love of God. I was staying in a duplex Ooh. as a small boy. I had a car mm -hmm. to myself. I mean, what did you expect? I was having mm. a good time. In my life. <laughs> you know, I had friends who had spare keys to my house. You know how this thing uh, yeah. right. so was. Really. But, but guess what? After I said that, and she refused. For the one year that we caught it, I call it courtship. We kept it professional. Okay. Real professional. Even when we had to do a transaction, the branch, and, and I remember one particular day, I was going to, she was going to come and deliver $200,000 to the branch. And I was supposed to be the one to take it. Now I took it, and the two of us were meant to go into the vault because every other person was busy. Mm -hmm. Drop the money in the vault. Now we walked from where we took the money to the vault, not even a word. Oh, say. No. Not even oh. hi. Uh, Until we delivered the money, I locked the vault, we came out. Oh. And she walked around, I'm like, all right, take it easy. Everybody, I made sure we kept it professional. In fact, the only day I had opportunity of coming to pick her up from the branch, but by then she had started agreeing. Mm. Because all of this, <laughs> all of this whole year. Mm. No, I'm very serious. Okay. A week to my traditional marriage, I wasn't sure if my wife was going to agree because she kept it that way. Mm. Like, at, she kept me on my toes for one whole year. We talked about 12 days. I yeah. made sure all of them left one after the other, quietly, without any pressure. <laughs> yeah, because I knew what I wanted. Okay. Right. So on that, yeah, if you were dating some, okay, let's assume you have a boo mm. in the bag. Okay. Okay. Would you allow him call you babe, boo, sweetheart, like, instead of owning me? Oh, no way. He can't call me babe. Well, come on. Like, that's like... You mean during work hours? During work like, hours. Uh, okay, maybe on Skype on no, things. No, not on Skype. Like, no, I think we'd have discussed that earlier, maybe. Ground rules. Like, um, oh. ground rules. Like, this, if you want to say, I love you, maybe just do something like... Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, like, no, <laughs> like there has to be some but sign it, language that makes it... it doesn't have to be during work hours. Yeah. yeah. We, still, we still made our time. Exactly. But when we I, like, I, I love my space. Yeah. So I had an issue with we're gonna be in each other's space. Like, unlike Chris, we're working in almost the same building. Oh wow. Almost the same team. Yeah. So true. a lot of guys knew her and a lot of girls knew me. So I had to give her her space. She should still feel comfortable around the other guys. Mm. She don't be like when she's chatting with some uh, Mike. Hey Mike, I'm there looking like Mike is it you now? <laughs> Mike, huh? So give her that space yeah. you know just do your thing let me do my thing yeah, then when we leave the office environment and we can All the love so are you guys about. also like doing pet names where nah. you guys know we hardly even chatted on skype or anything like oh, this wow. is professional this is the office there was space. never one day i yeah. skyped or chatted yeah. with my wife till we got married on the bank's uh, platform, platform never was there whatsapp then there was no whatsapp no, but there was text better. message you could do that uh, but guess what when i closed from in fact the first time i ever did prepaid call was when I was preparing to get married. 
if I glue knew I was, <laughs> I mean, I like, <laughs> some, they, they knew I was, I mean, there was a customer. We could make calls hours into the midnight. Okay. okay. But what, the next day I see her work, hey, hey. Hello. Ah, hey. yeah. No, no, no. I, I love romance in a the evening. Lot. I don't think I can just do it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Like, I just I need some time. Just be in the middle. Just be in the middle. How long have you been married for now? 11 years. How about you, Jess? Four months. Four months. Oh, my goodness. You're still a dog last year. You know, I think the 10 years of dating kind of. Yeah. Okay, so it's oh, yes. 10 years and four months. And four months. My brother, you're four months married. You're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> four months married. Okay, we would also want to put Chibuza on the spot. So Chibuza, cool. if okay. you get to fall in love with Elizabeth, okay. with me. With you. With you. No way. There's okay. no way I'm doing that. <laughs> okay, guys, so we've had so much fun here. And um, I know Chibuza, we have something for Mr. Chris. Okay, cool. So we've been oh, doing yeah. all these lovey-dovey things. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Mr. Chris met his wife here. So yeah. wouldn't it be nice to have him do like a surprise call to his wife yeah. and then tell her oh, how will. much of a darling she I is? I can't, I can't. And sing to her. And sing to her, exactly. And for Everybody, the record, I call her my angel. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's what she's always been, my guardian angel. Okay. I hope she picks. Yeah, I was going to find that. Yeah. 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 Pick. Angel, please speak. You need to record for me. Oh, I need to record. Hello, Angel. Hello. Hi, love. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You you actually on air. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. I I wanted us to do our song. Can you take out time? I know you're very busy at work, but please, can you take out just one second so we can do some? Okay. Let's go. All right. You are my lover. You are my friend. You are my life. To the very last, you give me comfort. Go ahead. I got you up. All right, Angel. Thank you so much, Mrs. Sanakwe. We love you. Thank love you, you so much. much. I love you too. I love you. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. I have to find a song. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a song. Oh my God. <laughs> so bland. Huh? Okay, so it's been fantastic having. All of you guys around, yeah. you've been so simply welcome. amazing. Nice. Uh, so for so everyone who's more, taking right? time to watch the video, we say very big <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and we'll hit you up next week, Friday, with a brand new video. Oh. Wow. Don't forget, keep living the life, keep being you, be beautiful all the time. I'm still tuning in social butterfly. And I remain Ndulo Chibuzo, a.k.a. Bye. 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 All right. No, but that was a great surprise. Why you guys didn't tell me about this book? It's our Vox Pop segment on Fidelity Weekly and we'll be asking people how they feel dating their colleagues. Come with me. A lot of people have found love in very unusual places. Well, the workplace is one of those. Come with me again. Hi, beautiful. Hi, dear. How would you feel dating a colleague? I don't mind dating my colleague. Reasons? Um, probably, okay, let's see. We both love each other, so there's no harm in giving it a try. The answer is no for me. Why? In the, if it's in the same office, uh, there might be conflict of interest. And in the working environment, conflicts of interest is not actually allowed. It's more or less like, slows down the work. Um, because now when the going gets good and stuff, yeah, it's all fine, lovey-dovey and all like that, like everything. But when stuff happens, when you guys break up, <laughs> the work suffers. Man, it's going to be weird. Really weird because you're seeing the person every day, and I feel like see finish winter. <laughs> Imagine if I'm dating a guy in my office and I see him talking to another lady, or maybe a lady hugging him, or just all around him. There'll be kind of jealousy in it, and you won't give the guy like everything space. So it's going to be so weird. If the person is not in um, within my office, maybe in another branch or something. I wouldn't mind. I don't think I would mind. But I'm a very private person, so I don't think I would want people to know about it. And I don't think I can date someone within 
same office space as myself. Nah, it's a no-no. She said, nah, it's a no-no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's a nah, it's a no-no for this beautiful tall glass of chocolate. Ah, uh, me, I cannot come and leave my wife because we're working in the same place. I'll, it's it been keeping an open mind, yeah, I think it's a welcome idea. But then it depends on the individuals involved. Is she willing? Yeah, you, you guys have to be professional. And I think there has to be a breakup plan. A breakup plan? Please educate us, sir. <laughs> okay, so, you know, um, in relationships, it gets to the point where things get messy. It's natural where humans, right? So now you know it's a professional environment. So you have to have a plan. Like, okay, now we're breaking up. This is how things, yeah, you know. Sure. So, yeah, I think so. I love this young man. So basically, when you're dating anybody in your office environment, have a breakup plan. Ladies and gentlemen, today has been fantastic on our Vox Pop on Fidelity Weekly. Until we come again next time, stay tuned, be happy, and don't forget, Fidelity, we keep our word. Fidelity. We keep our word.